Hi, how are you? It's Ching and my studio Heights of Wellness. And today we're going to talk about Qigong. We're gradually moving to, we did practice some of the breath work. But I want to introduce you eight different basic Qigong stands. Uh, today we just do part one. We do the first four getting stronger by practice, then we move into the next four, a little more challenge. And you're ready to start? So this is the very first four. Um, of course, the very first one, we call the horse stance. So I'm facing you first, right? So you can see I have a nice five chair point, my body upright. So I bend my knee first. I'm gonna slowly transfer one leg out and the other. So now my feet are a little wider than your shoulder. So you can go down. If it's beginning, right, you can feel the quadricep right away. So don't force yourself. You can do it sometime in the class. I call this spiritual triangle if I go wider and deeper. But if it's still too hard for your knee and the distal quadricep, you just go a little slender ones. No problem. So there's always right, a beginning. How you start is more important. You don't want to push yourself so much, then you give up, right? So gradually the developing. So right here, this is the horse stance. I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see because I want you to apply the breath to it so the horse stance become more alive, okay? So now I'm turning a little bit. So you can see my leg a little wider, my shoulder again. I'm put one hand in front below my belly button, the other hand's on the sacrum. So I'm going to do five reverse downhill breathing. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can refer to the, uh, the, the, the lesson before. I just do a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I'm explaining a little bit today. So inhale, you're going to lift the pelvic floor, you pull your tummy in. That makes me open that lower back. On the exhale, you release the pelvic floor and the energy will down and up. So that's, that's part of the yin yang philosophy. There's a down, there's a up, there's a right and left. I'm not gonna go into it. So let's practice this first, gradually putting everything together um, from previous lesson and going forward, right? So from here, nice and tall. Five breaths, five reverse abdominal breathing. Don't forget, your diaphragm always going down on the inhale, exhale goes up. You cannot control it, you should not feel it either. Okay, so just let it do its automatic movement. Ready? So here we go. Inhale, pelvic floor tummy, I'm soft in my chest. Exhale, I deepen in the rooting and so I create a little wave, one is spine. One stays so alive, exhale, release. Again, inhale, lift the pelvic floor, the lower arrow comes up, my two arrow comes. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, softly moving the spine. And the exhale, one last one. And the inhale, hollow tummy. On the exhale, you root it down so it softly opens, so softly extend the spine a little bit and arrive. So that's the horse stance practice. You really strengthen that quadriceps. It's so good for you. Okay, next thing we call, I'm going to teach you the arrow stance and four six stance together because they kind of connect. So if I do this in the horse stance, okay, I'll show you quickly. If I just pivot my back leg a little bit, my changing direction, okay? So this, I'll turn a little bit. So this is my front. Of course, my right leg's in front too. Hands, hands. So this is called an arrow stand. So I'm forward lunge, right? So I'm kind of push the back leg going forward. So the front leg carry about 70% of your body weight. The back leg, yes, 30%. So you need slightly bend and you heel down. You want your knee always lined up, okay? Every time on your, toward your second toe. Don't let it drop, okay? So it's too much. So you also notice when I do that, my front leg slightly pivot in because I'm waking up my inner side to help me strengthen. I'm much solid and foundation here compared to parallel position, 
might be a little too much for the knee when you're going forward. And also if you do this, it will stop you going too far forward. You don't do laterally rotate, which is turning off on the hip socket. It doesn't quite work because you're offering yourself. It's not good, right? You can get kicked. So right here. And the reason I say that because the, the eight basic stands for the Qigong, it's also eight uh, basic stands for the Tai Chi Chuan. And Tai Chi Chuan is actually martial art. So um, it's all about self-defense, okay? So right now, I have the arrow stance first, okay? Now if I transfer weight to my back leg, so this is what we'll call Si Liu Bu, Si is mean 40, Liu is mean 60, so 60%, 40% of the weight. So this is a great movement, actually, we kind of use it together for practice, how to transfer weight. Then use the breath again, so the basic, uh, another basic idea when you practice Qigong Tai Chi Chuan, there's three first principle. The very first three principle is rooting, right? You're gonna feel the energy spiral all the way down to the floor, into the mother as far away. And then you also, that's your rooting. And then reverse abdominal breathing, that creates a spine movement. So rooting, use the reverse abdominal breathing and create spine movement. So you stay very alive. Okay, I'll show you quickly. So this is my arrow stance. On the inhale, I push the front leg, I lift my pelvic floor, hollow my tummy, transfer to 60%, 40%. I push right back. So sometimes we call this the rocking set. My mentor is Dr. Yang Junming. Uh, super, super, uh, how you say, uh, uh, wealth of knowledge. And into the Qigong and Tai Chi Chuan practice, here we go. You're going back and the forward. So your spine creates this nice whip, uh, uh, wave movement. Sometimes we say it's like a whip, right? Really soft at the same time and very strong. So my last time, inhale back, exhale is forward, okay? So we're gonna switch side. So I, I do this way. So you're gonna change into this position same thing, 70%, so you do both sides. You inhale, moving back, exhale. It's a really hard practice for a lot of people because the Achilles tendon is a little tight. So stand up a little higher, it's okay. So inhale and exhale. Again, okay, inhale, you create a nice flexion of the front. And when you go forward, you create an extension. And the inhale, and the exhale, again, last one. Inhale, so lower arrow, meet up the upper arrow, and reaching out to getting this beautiful movement, rocking forward, back, forward, back, with a spine wave. Then gradually, what happened? You're making all the muscle, the core muscle in the front and back, really appliable. That's why we have 24 articulate vertebrae, not one, long piece, right? So we have to know how to use them. So the core muscle in the front, upper arrow, external obliques and six pack, lower arrow, internal oblique, and the rest of the six pack, actually 10 pack and five and four. So you got two arrows. I think if you're not sure what I'm talking about, see if you can go to the previous um, video to find that teaching about how to find those beautiful arrows and be in the back. Okay, so we're gonna go right into the fourth stance. We call the false stance. False is mean, what does that mean? Not as real, it's not two legs. You wait on the one leg, the other leg, just a touch. So sometimes we go step and touch and step and touch, like a wedding march, right? Or dance, we can do that too, but martial art too in Qigong false stance. So you wait on one leg. I put my hands behind me. You pick it up and you touch down. You can see my knee comes in a little bit. So I'm always protecting your vital, right? You can pick it up and touch down. You said go like this, right? So right. Step softly, balance and touch. Good job. So you see my body's always upright. Otherwise you do a little ripple, right? Little 
wave movement. So inhale and exhale, touch. And the inhale, exhale, touch. So that touching is mean it's not really down. So that's where I can react kicking forward, side, or back. So this leg start create movement. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, transfer your weight, slowly peel your heel off and touch. Again, inhale and exhale and inhale and then exhale. So that's the four basic stands out of the five, and eight of them. I'm sorry, eight, not five. All eight of them. So now, quick recap. You got a horse stance, right? Your leg a little wider than your shoulder. You will do five reverse downhill breathing. Then we go into the arrow stance, arrow, and four, six stance, okay? Together we create a, a rocking set, right? Together we create a back and forth. So you're not in the station area anymore. We want to talk about movement. And then last one today is called a false stance. So challenge the balance and strengthen one leg and touch. That's it for today. So we just kind of step into the four of the eight basic stance from Qigong. Practice next so you're ready for the next four next week. Okay? Have a great time and take good care. Practice well and watch the video over and over so you can get a better idea. Okay, that's it. Take good care. Bye bye. <laughs>